For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. oriented type of work and he already knew what facility they were using to take prisoners that soldier number three has already deployed five micro cameras to the interior of that facility they managed to capture video of the torture taking place after the soldier cooperated this of course goes viral worldwide and uh the invading country is now perceived as the new Nazis, and everybody wants to fight them. The major powers start getting in on the act. Uh, you know, say Russia recalls its ambassador, or maybe just Switzerland recalls its ambassador. And soldier number four, uh, well, she's out there uh, just trying to get incriminating video of uh, the bad guys doing stuff. She's got a little drone fleet that she's been keeping up with for the last 10 years and you know it was a hobby but it's something that's ready for war if need be well she sends those drones into action they're all equipped with broadcasters so they can get shot down and the video survives uh, one of them captures video of a hidden enemy tank park it's in a wooded area that's been carefully camouflaged and she loses the drone but the enemy has to move the tanks move them all to a new park and set up a whole new hidden sight. Her video doesn't show much except the park and a little bit of anti-aircraft fire, as well as the drone going dark, but it goes fairly viral. It's got 100,000 hits after two weeks and continues to get the world talking about the war in this free country, which should not be happening because look what awesome people they are. They're exercising such restraint against the invader by trying to avoid killing his troops. No defending state army in history has ever done anything like this. It's heroic, it's relatively effective, and humanitarian at the same time to some extent. Soldier number four is a little bit more of a team player. She doesn't really like the idea of working alone, so she reaches out to her two closest friends. People who she thinks she can trust through thick and thin, because they may have already proved it to her at, you know, at some point in the past in her life, and she knows how they feel about the occupation and so forth. She doesn't even know if either of them are in the secret guerrilla army, if in fact it is secret. Turns out one of them is, one of them isn't. 
Uh, but both, of course, are allowed to fight. There's no prohibition on this in, in this free country, except by the occupier. So free people can do things that one person can't, so they become a, a sort of a cell. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.